Hello everyone, today I'm going to be working through how to predict reading scores in terms of writing scores and we're going to be using um, a least squared regression line in order to do this and it's actually going to be live, I'm not going to edit the video so you're going to see all my mistakes if I make any and yeah you're just going to see the journey and my thought process and um, what I think to myself. So this is the data set. It is linked down below in the description box. So if you want to follow along, you can do so. This code or this notebook is also going to be linked down below and anything else you might need also linked down below. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is import the libraries that we need. So that's going to be pandas. We're going to import that as pd. We're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We're also going to import seaborn as SNS, I'm going to import SciPy as a C. Okay, so you want to run that. So pandas is going to just be so we can, you know, work with our data frame. Matplotlib and Seaborn are for graphing, and SciPy is for actually getting the um, terms that we need for our linear regression. Not our linear, excuse me, our, our least squared regression line. Okay, so then we're going to read in the data frame. So we're going to set a data frame um, variable equal to the actual data frame. So it's going to be read CSV method. And I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to copy the file path and paste it in here. Okay, and then I'm going to just see the first two rows of the data frame um, by using the head method. And this is what it looks like. So we have, you know, pretty good amount of columns. Um, we're just going to be focusing our math score, well, no, excuse me, we're going to be focusing our reading score and writing score. So next we want to plot the relationship between the variables. So we're doing this to see if we can perform a least squared regression line on them without linearizing, linearizing the data. So what would happen is if the relationship wasn't linear, then we would actually have to make it linear to, in order to use the least squared regression line. And you can see this video um, to actually see what would happen if it wasn't linear, but in this case, it is going to be linear. Um, so we're going to use Seaborn scatterplot to plot our relationship. So it's going to be writing score as our x value, as our independent variable, and then our dependent variable or our response variable is going to be our reading score. Okay, so when you run that, it should give you a very linear um, relationship, you can see that's very strong linear relationship. So again, if it wasn't linear, then check out this video to see what would happen if it's not exactly this example, but it's um, it's basically a graph that wasn't linear, but we still had to perform a lean, uh, least square regression line. And so that's what you would do if you if it wasn't linear, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, so now that we know that it's linear, we don't have to linearize the data or anything or transform the data, as some would say. We can just use, um, we can just go straight to finding the slope and the y-intercept. So the way you're going to do this is by using the SciPy library that we imported, at, imported as SC. So it's going to be sc.stats method, and then we're going to use the linregress regress method here. And inside, we're going to specify what our independent variable is and also what our dependent variable is. What is our, okay, so reading score. Okay, and when you run that, it actually should give you the slope of the, of the line and also the intercept. So now, oops, one second. Okay, so what it should look like is predicted y is equal to your y intercept plus the slope times your independent variable um, and some people call it explanatory variable explanatory variable so in other words i'm going to copy this so my predicted um reading score is equal to the y-intercept plus the slope times the writing score. So that's in context. And for mathematical context, it's actually predicted y. So mathematically, it would actually be hat, a y and then a hat over the y. But I can't do that here. So we're just saying predicted y a plus bx. So my a 
is my y-intercept, and then my v is my slope, okay? So in this case, using this information, all I'm going to do is going to say, I'm going to say predicted, my predicted reading score is equal to my y-intercept. So it's, it's really easy for you because it literally tells you what it is, so you don't have to like memorize the order. So y-intercept plus the slope, I'm going to copy and paste that, times the writing score, okay? So now you have, this is what I call your least squared regression line, right? So this line is what you can use to predict the reading score in terms of the writing score. So now that we have that, we're going to use the LSRL, the least squared regression line, to predict the reading score of a student who has a 19 writing score. So I'm going to copy and paste this, okay? And I'm just going to add underscores, edit it a little bit, make it Python friendly, and take away these parentheses because you know that doesn't represent multiplication in Python. Um, and then we're just going to add a 19 right there. I'm going to just call the variable also so it could actually give me the answer. So basically what this means, what we just got, it means that a student with a writing score, um, writing score, a writing score of what, of 19 is predicted to have to score a 24.1771 or to score 24.1771 points um, on their or in their reading class because these are actually, you know, classes. So it's like the math score in your math class, your reading score in your reading class, like your final score. So that's what this means. Okay, so now let's do the same thing for a 60 writing score. So I would just simply copy and paste what we just did and change this number to 60. Oh, and actually what I would do, let's see if it, to make sure that they do this entire thing first, see if it changes the answer. Yeah, no, it's okay. So just wanted to make sure. So basically parentheses means do this first, just like it would mean in math, but it does not mean multiplication. So what this means here is a student with a writing score of 60 is predicted to score a, um, a 61.7819. Um, why do I keep putting A? It's just score 61.7819 points in their reading class. Okay, so that's what that means there. Um, and we could, if, if we want to be more specific, we can just say according to the least squared regression line. All right, and then finally, our last prediction is going to be a writing score of 95. So run that. So this means a student with a writing score of 95 is predicted to score 93.8836 points in their reading class or to have a score of 93.8836 in their reading class. Okay, so this again is just predicting the reading score in terms of writing score. We use a least score regression line and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know um, and have a great day.